All right. Hopefully I'm recording. Let me just check. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's stop recording. So that means I'm recording. All right. New update for this week. Update eight. Got some new weapons here. Uh, I'm not going to go into super detail with these because Anton's already uh, talked about them in the devlog. But yeah. So we got some uh, We got some Uzis. Oh, give me that suppressor. Let's just put that there. Oh, target. <laughs> Forgot to set my target. Go five meters. Make sure I'm not hitting the wall over here. I want to center myself. Go back. All right. So yeah, you got your new Uzi here. Looks pretty good. And the fire selector switch, safe, semi-auto. Let's go with auto. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. A lot of people have been wanting an Uzi for a long time. And, uh, ooh, how do you, how do you put this baby on? Can you put this thing on? Oh, you can. There we go. Let me just make sure that's on there tight. It's an open bolt submachine gun, so... That's pretty cool. Let's take this off because I got to use this. Oh, no. Get over there. All right, so that's the old style. One of the early models of the Uzi with a wooden stock. Looks pretty good. All right, cool. And you got the classic Uzi everyone knows about from the 1980s with a folding stock. Pretty cool. Put that up to the shoulder. Grab that. Make sure everything is all set. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Just gonna put that there. You got your um. Huh? Is this the mini Uzi or the micro Uzi? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Hmm. There's the mini Uzi. So this is the micro Uzi? Huh. Oh, wait, no, these are the same. Okay, so this is the mini Uzi. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, so the micro Uzi is a lot smaller. But yeah. So. And the other one's the Uzi Compact with the folding stock, and then you got the classic Uzi with the uh, wooden stock. So this is the mini Uzi. Which, oh, now that I have two of them. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, let me put the stock back. Too bad you can't actuate the bolt using the, uh, that's only pistols only. So you can't do that. You can't, you know, knock the bolt around. You have to manually do that. Let's put this on automatic. Both of them. That is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. These uh, also work with a suppressor. So, if you wanted a mini Uzi with a suppressor. Come on, there we go. There you go. Let's clear out these magazines. Hmm. Actually. Now that I think about it, where's the Mac 11? There we go. Now that we now that we've got the uh, the actual Uzi in the game, this is like Operation. Uh, what was that game uh, on the arcades? You now you'd have like the the little Uzi representation, and then you move it around like this. Uh, I think it was um, Operation Thunderbolt. No, Operation Wolf. That's what it was called, because Thunderbolt was the one with the um, with the Mac Mac 11 or Mac 10. No, I think it might have been, might have been the M11 9, but it was like a really big Mac 11. So yeah, so now we've got like <laughs> I remember those arcade games back then. 
I'd play Operation Thunderbolt constantly. Because it was pretty... It was pretty cool. And also... Oh. Fire selector is, is gone. <laughs> but I used to play um, Operation Thunderbolt at a local laundromat. So, you know. And they also had, I think before that, they had Operation Wolf which had the Uzi. It was single player. And then they upgraded to like Operation Thunderbolt, which had like two players. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so you got your Uzis. You can act like your favorite 80s action star now. I don't even have to aim. Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's because uh, I have bullet trails on. It's a lot more easier. That's cool. That is cool. I love. I love these, <laughs> even though they're um, they're old and not that reliable. From what I've heard, actually shooting one of these in real life is not that great. But. I've never really personally shot one, so I wouldn't know. But still, you know, brings back a lot of memories of the 80s. Like, more in the 90s was the um, Mac 11. No, I'm just kidding about that. But, yeah. You know, you see action stars with, with the uh, Uzi. That's pretty cool. All right, so what else? Um, let me reload this scene. So now we have a couple of um, 22 caliber pistols. I think these use the same um, magazine, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, let me just... Oh. Yeah, they're pretty much the same, so... And there. Come on, there we go. And then this one, with its unique um, curved magazine, I actually forgot what this is called. Let me go check. So the pistols. This is the Explorer 22, chambered in 22LR. Um, why do you actually... Whoa. Is that a safety lever? It is. A little jittery. I don't know why. My uh, tracking is great. But it, that is a safety lever. Put on safe. You can't fire it at all. Oh, now it's, you know, unsafe. <laughs> Don't do that in real life because the RSO is going to slap you down because you're not shooting down range. Uh, so that's the Explorer 22, a really funky looking pistol. All right. Now, what is this one? This one I saw in the devlog. This is a Mark IV Hunter right here. And it's basically like hmm, a Mark III, but. A little bit more beefier. I keep hitting my controllers. <laughs> got those, uh, got those like sights that glow. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Put that up to your face. There you go. Wow. Please don't have those sights. This is the Mark IV. Uses oh, right here, mag in there. Same kind of operating. Uh, same way to operate, basically. Not that much recoil. That's pretty cool. And this is the, um, right here, is the Mark IV Whisper. Right? Am I getting that right? This is the Hunter, and this is the Whisper. So basically, it's got a little suppressor already like, integrated into the gun. Oh, there's a little safety lever there. Ah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All you um, 22LR lovers out there, 
because it is a very popular round. It's good for plinking, you know. You want to you wanna go outside and shoot a couple of rounds without breaking the bank. Any two LR is the way to go, although, from what I've heard, there is a shortage. Well, that's what I heard. I'm not really too sure anymore. I haven't really kept up, but yeah. You know. Set up some cans in the backyard. Shoot some 22 LR. Okay, so the next weapon we have, let me try to get the name here, is a mag fed shotgun called the. Is that the MP155K? Never seen this before, by the way. I'm not too familiar with all the guns of the world. But it is a mag fed. Whoop! Shotgun. Look at those details. Wow. I like those lines. Those lines are really cool. Very sci fi ish, you know? Really, it looks really good in the light, too. That is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a big, beefy gun, so you're going to have to watch out for that clearance. <laughs> oh, am I on safe? How do you turn off the safety here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Turn it off. <laughs> wow, that is nice. The magazine is a little bit um, short. There's not that much rounds in there, but I mean, it is a shotgun, so. five rounds well, that's pretty cool you know we need more um, magazine fed shotguns oh wait a minute hold on oh, nice thud there when you drop the, <laughs> the gun and of course this is an AR-15 everybody's seen one of these they're very popular this one is basically just like it's got this funky stock at the end and um, yeah I mean what more can you want you know I think it's basically this but just with an actual stock got one of them short magazines that um, yeah you know civilian legal nothing too terribly impressive about it but um, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Come on. <laughs> Use the other hand. You can actually uh, you get an empty magazine here. What I like about this game is is that the guns are so accurately modeled that let's say you know you stick a new magazine in there. And you don't want to use the thumb pad to release the bolt. Well, there is a bolt release lever right here and you can hit. It's on every um, AR style rifle. But you press that and you close the bolt. That's pretty cool. Love how they modeled, uh, how Anton modeled that into the game. I don't know why I'm buying this without a stock. But yeah, so new guns, not really too interested in them because there are some other new updates. While I load the screen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> There's some new updates to the game that uh, I'm going to talk about. Where's the breaching scene? There we go. Let's load this scene up. A little bit more loading. Computer is going crazy. And yeah, oh, looks a little different. Let me just spawn a gun in here for a minute. Um, let's go with the let's go with the left hook. This is the carbine there. And um, Stanag mag. That in the pouch. Need a little scope too. Come on, get in there. There we go. 
that's down. Let's uh, get set up and uh, semi for a minute. Hmm, what should I use as my pistol? Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's see. Oh, decisions. So many decisions. So many guns in this game. I can't really decide. And uh, that was my computer giving me a message of some sort. I can't really see, though, since I'm in VR right now. <laughs> All right. I might go with a submachine gun. Oh, you know what? Let's go with the MP5K. I feel, uh,. I feel like going a little uh, short here. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put a sight on this thing too. Reflex sight. Red dot compact. Just a little small one. There we go. Put this in a three round burst. Actually, hold on. You know what? Oh, man. What is that MP5 30 round magazine? Let's get one of these 30 round magazines into the into the gun. Pull this one out. Oh, come on. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah, it looks it looks absurd, but it's great. I love it. Oh. All right. So you can press that trigger. 10 times? <laughs> 30 rounds, right? 3 round burst. Okay, uh, also, before we leave this menu, let me get some good stuff here. And you'll see why in a minute why I put this stuff in. My quick belt. Actually, let's get a shotgun. Oh, let's get the... Um, Let's get the new shotgun in here, the MP155K. Ten rounds. Got on the shoulder. Magazine there. Let's uh, blow this baby up. All right. You know what? I think that's about enough. All right. So basically, Anton has revisited the breaching proto, and um. Yeah, put some new options in, including adding the sausages as a test into this, this level. So, you know, if, if anything goes wrong, just remember this is not this is not permanent. But so yeah, you know, I mean, you can spawn the regular hot dogs. They're still there. They're still there in their same positions as usual. Go we'll walk through the house. Just two there. There's a couple guys. One guy right there. Upstairs. Yeah, there. There's a couple guys in here. And, uh, you know, good stuff, right? Let's go. Ooh, move fast. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I'm spinning around. But now you can spawn them randomly. Let me just click this a couple times. Make sure it's random. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yep, they are sort of random. Yeah, there's more guys over here. That's pretty cool. You know, people getting really, uh, people learning the map. Can now have a little bit of a challenge when they play this. Same thing for the uh, IPSEC, the old targets. You can put them in random positions. Or usually, oh, there's usually a one guy here, but now there's two. And uh, so on and so forth. But what I'm more interested in are the sausages themselves. So we're going to try that out. It's a little too bad that you can't have both IPSEC and sausages. Oh! Oh no. Uh well. He saw me. Oops. No. No. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I'm out. Oh. I just I was a little distracted there. The magazine is just floating in the void. There we go. <laughs> oh. Get out of here. Oh. Step up here. So, yeah, now you can have uh, sausages. Uh,
spawn and I am going to try that out. Also, uh, I think Anton added uh, hearing so that the sausages can out hear your guns and stuff. So that will be interesting to try out. Let's try it. Spawn right now three. All right. Sneak in here. Oh no, I've been spotted. Oh snap! <laughs> All right, that was <laughs> that one legitimately scared me. All right, you know what? You know what I need? I need a suppressor. That's the problem. Like they can just hear me immediately. So we'll spawn a suppressor here. You see nine. Favorite, always, of all time. Oh, let's try that again. <laughs> I didn't know they could spawn outside. That's the thing, so you gotta watch out. Okay. There's nobody here. Snap, did they hear me? Oh man, I think they heard me. There's one more. <laughs> wow, okay. Try that again with five sausages. Let me just reload everything. Oh no, they spotted me. Oh, I think that was the, this is the fifth one. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Try that again. Let's try 10. Oh, forgot to uh, go. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, no! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, oh, there's still a... Uh... Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, this is really bad. They don't spawn when you die. They don't despawn when you die. Ah, no. Ah, I'm just gonna keep getting killed. Not dead. Oh. Come on, get up, get up, up. Okay. <laughs> you better be dead. Oh, darn it. oh nope, he's still alive. Oh, there's a lot of glitching going on. Again, this is just a little test, so it's not perfect. But I'm liking what I see so far. This quarter's battle is really hard. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Oh no, they spotted me. I need to get out of here. Oh no, <laughs> what are you doing up there? Me first. Oh no, they got me. <laughs> Damn it, I should have shot first. Oh, get out of here. Get up, get up. Whew. All right. Oh, no. We got bad guys in the house. Oh no! <laughs> no. Guy's not dead. Have fun with that. Oh, all right. I think they're all dead. Hopefully, they are all dead. Oh. Might be some upstairs though. Yeah, it needs a little work, but um, this is pretty cool so far. Better than the static targets. Actually move around and chase you, you know? All right, so I think I got all of them. Scene. Make sure I have everything loaded and ready to go. Come on. Try five this time. Ah, they just love coming outside, don't they? What the? You rock, come on, dog. come on. <laughs> just make sure. So one, two, three, four, five, I think it was five. They just love coming outside, don't they? They'll give me a chance to uh, prepare. Okay, one more time. Oh no! <laughs> oh goodness. I think they're all upstairs. <laughs> I'm a little quiet here. It's 
two of them. Where'd he go? No! Get over here. You better be dead. Alright. Oh! We got a runner. Hopefully he doesn't know how to navigate the stairs yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, come on. What? Gotcha. <laughs> Let's try five this time. I trip. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Okay. Hopefully those five. One, two, three, four. Is there one in here somewhere? Gotta clear the area. It needs a little work, but it's fun so far. <laughs> I'll keep saying that. Okay, I think I killed that guy for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Just needs a little bit more and oh no, why did I spawn ten? Bad as bad as bad as bad as bad as bad as bad. Oh no, this thing's out of ammo. I forgot to reload. Just a lot in potatoes. You better be dead. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> let me check upstairs before I start talking. Because you never know. Oh, this guy's head is still there. I don't quite understand why. I'll pick it up. Come here. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Stuck there. You know what? I think I'll know a way to get it unstuck. <laughs> I'm going to have to run after this. There we go. Kind of just obliterated it instead of moved it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That is pretty tiring. So, yeah. I mean, that's uh, pretty much the update to the breaching house apartment. This is Anton's apartment, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah. You know. 
I like having the uh, IPSEC in random positions, so now you can just, you know. Oh no, did I not load this? Oh, God. Come on, go inside the thing. No, there we go. Wait, did I get this guy? There we go. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's one more right there. Damn it. Should always clear the room. There we go. Oh, man, this is uh, this is actually pretty tiring. Because <laughs> usually in the probing grounds, I can just you know bunker down somewhere and not have to do anything. But with the uh, breaching map, I have to actually move, which is pretty tiring. <laughs> I need more exercise. All right, we'll do one more run. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's start with new weapons. Let's go with the uh, new Uzis that came out. Especially the... What's that? The Uzi Compact. The 32 round? All right. You know, Delta Force style. Actually, I think they used uh, Micro Uzi in the in that movie, the Chuck Norris movie with Lee Marvin. Because we only have the uh, Uzi Mini, we don't have the Micro, which is um, yeah, it's too bad. But you know what? That's okay. Why not? Actually, you know what? Why not have two of these? <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. And then, um, let's see, let's go a little ultra quiet here. I know the 22, 22 LR is not going to really work against these sausages, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> and, um, huh, where is that, it was a carbine, no. It wasn't a carbine. I think it was an assault rifle. No, wait a minute, hold on. A rifle? No. What was that? Uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. SBR, the AR 15. Put that there. Take this. Let's get a not so legal, well, if you're using one of these. Um, what's that? Carbine. Drum mag. Oh, no. <laughs> so why not? Semi. Hmm. I don't know where I can put this. And these drum mags. You know what? No oh, waste. We'll use this one instead. There. There we go. Okay. And maybe, um, uh, maybe, uh, we got a flashbang. Okay. Oh, make sure that these are set to automatic. There's no safety on this, hopefully. And this one I already I removed the set, so let me grab flashbang first. Oh no!
Oh, what? Oh, that guy shot me. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. Ah, get out. Get, get out of here. There's too many of them. about these open bolts. Huh? Oh, I forgot they can hear the... Um... <laughs> that was pretty bad. I shouldn't have done that. I need more practice with these. Oh, actually. No, come here. Oh my goodness, they got me. Oh. I gotta get out of here. Man, they're just murdering me. Come over here, give me that weapon. Ah, God, I'm getting tangled. That guy's still alive, though. I think he's still alive. <laughs> Grab their weapon. All right. Just uh, untangle myself here. And I think I got one more guy left. Oh, nope. He was dead. Playtime. Oh, no. Ah, he's wearing too much armor. I think he's dead though. Okay. Whew, uh, I'm getting tangled again. This is just great. There we go. All right. One of the bad things about VR is that there's a cord. I know there's the wireless, but I don't have enough cash for it. So, hey, you know, I'm stuck with this. All right. Well, that was fun. Needs a little work, but hey, you know. Pretty good. I like that they can hear you now. <laughs> so that makes things a little bit harder. They can actually hear, um, I think, the gun operation when you like pull the uh, you know, thing back, the uh, bolt. So they can start moving. Oh, they've heard that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, I'm gonna have to run. Come on. They can hear gunshots now, I think. So now they're going to investigate where these gunshots are coming from. Over there. Oh no. I don't have anything else. Oh, I also forgot to mention, since Anton rebuilt this thing, you can now actually shoot through walls, so <laughs> that's a legitimate strategy. See? Uh, I think they're all dead, but yeah, you can shoot through walls now. Makes things a lot more interesting, especially if you get a... Let me get something here that I can actually use. 
I was gonna stop the video, but I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna throw you away. Throw you away. Throw you away. Throw you away. Need these babies anymore? Cause I'm gonna go crazy with this. Oh yeah, they'll definitely hear this. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go. Shoot through the stairwell. Oh. But I'm a pacifist. Oh no. Foot long. I'm sure everything in that room is covered. I think I got him. There he is. <laughs> Just shot through the walls. Who cares about collateral damage? I think. Well, you know, make sure. And there usually is a guy over here hiding in the corner. <laughs> Thank goodness the SWAT don't operate like that. Just shoot through walls, you know? Go outside. Just spray through the, the drywall into the into the house. <laughs> Thankfully, um, most people have a little bit more, um, whatchamacallit, uh, what's not the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to think of the word, um, a little bit more, uh, it'll come to me. Oh yeah, see, I'm taking a nap. Oh no! Come on! I wonder if you can actually shoot through the floor. Oh no! Can you do that? You know what? Let me empty this magazine here. Box magazine, sorry. I'm gonna try that. Just, uh... Oh, they heard that. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking of when I was doing that. Oh, might have went inside, huh? Let's uh let's see if I can actually shoot through the wall here. Oh, there he is.
Oh, he's dead. There he is. <laughs> right through the wall. Oh. Hmm. Nobody? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, they got all alerted when you... Oh man, exhausting. What fun. All right, I said I was going to end the video soon, and I guess it's time, so yeah. That's a new update. Took a look at new weapons. Took a look at uh, the new breaching test. Oh. Where did I put that one? There it is. Oh no. Let me see if I can make it up there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much Alpha 8. There's, uh, there's some more new stuff, like the, the Saucy's got new clothes and stuff like that. I got to sit down. Oh, there we go. Oh, yep, I'm sitting down. You can't see it in VR, but... That's empty. That's not empty. That's empty. That's empty. All these are empty. That's not empty. So yeah, you know, gotta watch out, make sure I don't hit my computer, but I'm just gonna lie back in my chair and, um, you know, just shoot off a few guns. <laughs>